Rubbing at the decay of Babylon. Yeah, we see the sickness spread around me, officer. Searching for the truth, looking for the light. But Babylon system full of trick, full of spite. Them call it a virus, hope mind play. Me see them mind twist, lost in the game. But me now bow down, me now go break. The righteousness, me chart, me keep it fake. Sunshine are the best, sanitizer, cleanse the earth. We get less of the fall, we arise, we birth. We run a tight ship, discipline we bring. Disruptive, disruptive, here and here. Blessings, free. love, and light to all tuning in today. Welcome to another episode of The Path of Christ. I'm your host, Rich Garvey Banton. Today, we dive into the teachings of Matthew 10 from the King James Bible and discuss the societal and interpersonal relationship issues Jesus warned his disciples about. But we'll also look deeper through the lens of Gnostic Christianity and other traditions. Today, I'm honored to have Brother Malachi, a Rasta elder from Britain, and Elder Jacob, a missionary of the Mormon faith. Blessings, brothers. Welcome. Brother Malachi here, giving thanks for this opportunity to share. Matthew 10 speaks deeply to the Rastafari way, showing us how to navigate Babylon's challenges with wisdom and love. Elder Jacob speaking. I'm grateful to discuss these profound teachings. Matthew 10 resonates strongly in Mormon doctrine, guiding us in our spiritual journey and missionary work. Let's dive straight into it, brethren. Matthew 10 has Jesus sending his disciples out into the world with a warning that they'll face persecution. It's a passage that speaks to the alienation of following the way of Christ. I'll start with verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Brother Malachi, as a Rasta elder, how do you interpret this idea of alienation and the profound sense of separation Christ's followers faced? Yes, I. This verse resonate deep. Christ a warned them about the system, the Babylon, you know. Christ say them like wolves, and jaw children must be wise. I and I as Rasta know about alienation, seen. We reject Babylon and live fee the truth of jaw. The world Chian understand you when you walk righteously. And Christ tell them fi stay harmless. Cause the system will fight ya. Feed em wolves, dem spirit corrupt, but de righteous must stay pure, like doves. Same ting today, brethren. You see it in how society push de material, de false light, but de true light, de inner knowing that come from Jah. True, my brother. That inner light, that wisdom. In Gnostic thought, we interpret this alienation as part of the divine path. You know, in Gnostic texts, Christ is often seen as bringing hidden knowledge to those who are ready to receive it. The Gospel of Thomas, for example, tells us, If you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. This reinforces that idea of alienation, doesn't it? That the world, or what the Gnostics would call the material realm, is inherently hostile to spiritual truth. In our Mormon faith, we understand that this mortal life is designed to be a time of testing and growth. The trials we face are not just random occurrences, but opportunities for us to develop faith and become more like Christ. When Jesus said we would be hated for his name's sake, he was preparing us for the opposition we'd face in following him. But he also promised that those who endure to the end will be saved. This endurance isn't about gritting our teeth and barely making it through. It's about consistently choosing righteousness, even when it's difficult. Our goal isn't worldly success or comfort, but to become more Christ-like in our character and actions. By facing trials with faith and perseverance, we're refined and prepared for eternal life with God. It's fascinating how these paths converge. Both in Gnostic and Mormon thought, there's this idea that the material world is a temporary trial and the real focus is on spiritual growth. But let's get deeper into this. In Matthew 10.34, Jesus says something startling. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. How do we interpret this, especially when it comes to relationships? He even goes on to say that a man's enemies will be in his own household. Yeah, man, this one heavy. 
Christ never preached no easy road scene. De sword jaw talk about its die truth. Truth cut deep, even between family. Christ a tell dem de truth divide dem from de ones who still in a Babylon. If you follow de most high, sometimes even you own blood chan stand you. Rasta live dis. When you walk de path of righteousness, sometimes you hafi leave family behind. Babylon's lies strong and de truth sharp like a sword. I see it similarly, Brother Malachi. Jesus was not advocating for violence, but for spiritual division. When we choose to follow him, we may have to sacrifice certain relationships. In Mormonism, we emphasize that families can be eternal, but only through righteousness and covenant. Christ's words here remind us that not everyone will understand our choices to follow him, and that can create division, even in our closest relationships. But the sword, as you said, is the truth. You see, the Rastafari way of life, it na easy path. When you choose Fifaloja and live in a truth, it can separate you from family and society, Babylon system, it deep in a people mind, even your own flesh and blood. Them might not understand why you grow your locks, why you eat a tail, why you reject certain things. It's a constant struggle between die truth we know and de lies society push. But we have to stand firm in our faith, even if it mean walking alone sometimes. Die truth of ja, it set we free, but it also set we apart. That's the price of righteousness in a world full of darkness. Families can be together forever through sacred covenants and ordinances. This beautiful doctrine of eternal families is central to our understanding of God's plan. However, as we strive to follow Christ and keep these covenants, we may face opposition even within our own families. The sword Jesus speaks of isn't literal, but rather the sharp, sometimes painful truth of the gospel. It can divide those who accept it from those who don't, creating spiritual separations. Yet we hold fast to the hope that through Christ's love and our faithfulness, these divisions can be healed and families united eternally. Exactly. And from a Gnostic perspective, we see this sword as a symbol of the separation between the enlightened and the unenlightened. The sword cuts through the illusion of the material world. It represents spiritual knowledge, which can create conflict because the world is built on ignorance and deception. In the Gospel of Philip, it's written, The world came into being through error. The agent who made it wanted it to last forever. But that's not our path. The material world and its attachments can divide us, even from those we love. It's that cosmic struggle, isn't it? Brother Malachi, you speak of the struggle between light and darkness. How do you see this playing out in our modern world? Indeed, I and I see this struggle every day. The youth dem caught up in materialism, chasing after fleeting pleasures. But the true light, it come from within. We must teach them to turn away from Babylon's lies and seek the wisdom of Yah. It's a daily battle, but one we must fight. Elder Jacob, how does Mormonism approach this idea of spiritual awakening in the face of worldly attachments? In our faith, we believe in constant personal revelation and spiritual growth. We teach that this world is a testing ground, a place to prove ourselves worthy of eternal life. The challenge is to stay focused on Christ's teachings while navigating the complexities of modern life. It's about finding balance and always striving to become more Christ-like. As we draw our conversation to a close, it's clear that the teachings of Christ in Matthew 10 resonate deeply across our diverse spiritual paths. We've seen how alienation, focus, and the pursuit of higher truth are common threads that bind Rastafarianism, Mormonism, and Gnostic Christianity. The sword of truth that Christ speaks of divides us from the material world, challenging our relationships and societal norms. Yet, it's through this division that we find our path to spiritual growth and enlightenment. Whether we call it rejecting Babylon, enduring trials, or breaking free from illusion, the essence remains the same, a journey towards divine understanding and unity with the Most High. 
From a Gnostic perspective, this struggle is the very essence of our existence here. We see the material world as a creation separate from the true divine source. Our task is to awaken to our true nature, to recognize the divine spark within us. This awakening often comes through knowledge, gnosis, which can be a difficult and alienating process in a world that often rejects deeper truths. To all our listeners, remember that the path of spiritual truth may not always be easy, but it is always rewarding. Stay focused on your journey, no matter what obstacles you face. Let the light within guide you through life's challenges. May you find peace, wisdom, and strength on your spiritual path. Until next time, this is Rich Garvey Banton signing off. Blessings to you all. Disruptarian.com is streaming 24-7, 365. Tune in for homegrown reggae and inspiration music made here in the studios with DJ Disruptarian, a.k.a. Rich Garvey Banton, a.k.a. Ryan Richard Thompson. As of this day, September 17th, 2024, DJ Disruptarian has dropped 39 tracks, which are available on all major music media sources such as Alexa, YouTube Music, Spotify, and many others. The latest release will be available to stream and purchase on September 27th, 2024, called Disrupt the Darkness. This one hits home, as there are a few songs on this album that I made for my kids, whom I am currently alienated from and in a terrible custody battle over. We see the sickness spread on all me officer, searching for the truth, looking for the light, but Babylon system full of trick, full of spite. Them call it a virus, hope mind play, me see them mind twist, lost in the game, but me now bow down, me now go break. The righteousness, me chart, me keep the faith, sunshine are the best, sanitize and cleanse the earth. We get less of the fall, we arise, rebirth, we run a tight ship, discipline we bring, disruptive, disruptive, here and here the freedom ring. Honesty, decency, love me sick But the world full of lies, Babylon too weak Them push corruption, them fight the youth But me have to stand firm, me defend the true tradition Me here, the roots me steer Them can't fool me with the wicked display Me chant revolution in a militant style Disruptive, disruptive, and we not make And sunshine are the best, sanitize and cleanse the earth Wickedness of the fall, we arise, rebirth We run a tight ship, discipline we bring Disruptive, disruptive, and here the freedom ring We see the darkness but your life stronger Babylon system can't last much longer Wisdom and love, we bring it to the far Hope the mind up, Babylon done for sure For the sickness them spread, truth and the cure Love and unity, me a fi ensure Me now look back, me a march forward Disruptive, disruptive, and your jam reward Sunshine are the best, sanitize and cleanse the earth Wickedness of the fall, we arise, rebirth We run a tight ship, discipline we bring Disruptive, disruptive, and hear the freedom ring on the freedom ring, let the sunshine sing. Which me side who stand for me, me ride or die with pride Loyal to keep it run through my pains Me no forget, me no play no games Loyal to loyal, me stand firm in the fight Real ones decide me, them walk in the light If you're loyal to me, me loyal to you We ride through the storm, we stick to the truth Me no go betray you, me no change my way Loyalty forever, me a live it up today Me loyal to loyal, you know how me be Real ones, me protect them, stand up for me Stakes you have to know the crew Me not deal with fear cause me stick to the few The ones who show love, the ones who stay real Them me defend me right for them still Loyalty not me me seat in your eye The ones who stick close when the pressure get high You no leave me for beg, you no turn your back So me loyal to you, me carry your part Loyal to loyal, me stand firm in the fight Real ones decide me, them walk in the light If you're loyal to me, me loyal to you We ride through the storm, we stick to the truth me not Betray you, me not change my way Loyalty forever, me a live it out today Me loyal to loyal, you know how me be Real ones, me protect them, stand up for me When things get 
rough for who they beside me Are the loyal soldiers, them and guide me The fake ones run, them can't take the heat But the real ones rise, them never retreat Me remember the love, me remember the care The ones who are fight for me always here Now forget loyalty, me know what it mean A bond and broken, a heart that's clean Loyalty deeper than call of fame We recognize real, me no play no game If you're loyal to me, me a right till the end Friend for life, you know me defend Loyal to loyal, me stand firm in the fight Real ones decide me, them walk in the light If you're loyal to me, me loyal to you We ride through the storm, we speak to the truth Me not go betray you, me not change my way Loyalty forever, me a leaf it out today Be loyal to loyal, you know how me be Real ones, me protect them, stand up for me Salute to Jack Danoff and a good man true Loyal to loyal, Jack I get true Rest in peace, real soldier, strong till the end Forever remembered, me bread and my friend Me not change my way Loyalty forever, me I live it out to 